Israelite, you are the uh, Israelite. You are the Israelite man, woman, and child, and guess what? You got commandments to keep, all right? But if you don't uh, keep God's commandment, guess what? You're going to be a proverb for the rest of your life, all right? You're going to be called something outside of your nationality, all right? Uh, read 43. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. The scriptures say the stranger, meaning the other nations, all right, the other nation is going to get above thee. And you wonder why you don't own anything in America. Bring it out. All right. I think, I think they say out of Fortune 500 uh, company, we own like 1%. Bring or may, maybe even less than 1%. And we've out. been here longer than most of the uh, other nations around us. But guess what? We only own, own 1% of uh, the Fortune 500. So, right. so you tell me how, how much sense does that make? You've been here longer than... Then the, uh, then the Arab man and the East Indian and all these other different heathens, but you only own 1% of the Fortune 500? Bring it out. We feel, we're telling you why. Read it from the top again. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. That's why, because you're under these curses that your God put over you for your disobedience. Read on. And thou shalt, be com and thou shalt come down very low. Are you not at a low estate? Bring it out. Let me ask you something. If you don't own anything in your community, is that not a low estate? Bring it out. Everything that you wear is made by other nations. Bring it is out. Is that not a low estate? Bring it out, Doc. So if you are in a low estate, who is above you? Yeah. Who is above you? Your enemies are above you. Bring it out. The scripture is going to explain that as we read on. Yes. But what y'all got to do, y'all got to wake up. Bring it out. Y'all got to wake up. It's a simple feast to this, in case you didn't know. All right, it, all it, all it, all the simple fix is keeping God's commandments. Bring it We're going to bring that out to you, but all you got to do is just listen. Read. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. So the scriptures say, ye, he shall lend to thee, meaning you're going to go to the so-called white man to get along. You're going to go to the so-called white man to get appliances, to get what? To get things that you need. All right, he's going to lend to you, but guess what? You're not going to lend to him nothing. All right? The so-called, uh, these other nations are not, are not coming to you for anything. You are going to them. Read that from the top. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. All right, it's talking about the other nations, the strangers. That's amongst your people. Because believe it or not, black man and black woman, uh, uh, Native, Native Americans and uh, Mexicans, uh, the other nations are not your people. Bring so they are called strangers, all right, according to the scripture. Read on. And he shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. All right, he's going to be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. All right? And you wonder why you see the so-called white man on every dollar bill. If you ever wonder why, that's why. Because he's going to be the head, and you're going to be the tail. Meaning you're going to be at the very base lower people. All right? They're going to own the bus system, and you're going to catch the bus and give them your money. All right? They're going to own the hospitals. They're going to own uh, the school system. Bring it out. All right? All these other nations are going to own those things. All right? Go to uh, read on. Read 46. 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. All right, these curses are going to pursue you. Hey, how you doing today, bro? Can you, can you stop for a minute? Hey man, hey, this, 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 these scriptures right here can save your life. Read. Right. To thou be destroyed, because thou hearken is not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep you. See that? See, a lot of people do not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Let, let, we, we hear it all the time people say they heard from God. But the commandments are how is the word of God. So when you read these words, guess what? That's when you heard from God. Bring it out. Because it says, because thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Meaning you will not hearken to the word. We out here reading the word to you, meaning the commandments of God, and you won't listen. All right? Y'all don't care. Y'all despise the word of God, but read on. Because thou hearken is not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. It said that these curses, meaning these evil things, are going to be upon thee for a sign. This is how you know your nationality right here. It said, this shall be upon you for a sign. So I read on. 
and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Hey, let me ask y'all a question. When it say upon thy seed, what is it referring to when it say upon thy seed? Do anybody know? Do you have any knowledge? All right, your seed is your children. Bring it out. All right. A man plants the seed, the woman uh, makes it nourish, nourish that seed. All right. So the seed comes from the man. So it says, it's talking about your children. It said, these signs shall be upon thy seed, meaning from generation to generation. The same thing y'all going through, your kids going to go through. All right, read on. Because thy servant is not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. For the abundance of all things, because one, the first commandment was God to was to love thy God with all thy heart and with all thy might and with all thy soul. All right? Because you did not keep that commandment, then these, that's how them curses fell upon you. Read. That's right. Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. Uh -huh. And in thirst, uh -huh. and in nakedness. All right, so all the things you need in life, you need something to eat, right? But guess what? You go to your enemies and get something to eat. You need something to drink. But guess what? You go to your enemies and get something to drink. Bring it out. You need something to wear. Guess what? You go to your enemies to wear something. Bring it out. How you doing, bro? Shalom. How you doing? All right. Stop. If you got a minute, man, let me ask you a couple questions. All right. Do you know what we doing today? All right, what we're doing is showing our people the nationality in the Bible. That's right. uh, has, has, look, if I was to ask you what's your nationality, what would you say? Then how do you know you're an Israelite? I'm just saying, yeah, uh, So you just, you just, oh, so you, so you know according to the Bible that you're an Israelite? I don't know for sure that was a good deal. All right, well, I'm going to show you a quick way, man. You know how we came over here uh, to America? We came over here on slave ships. You ever seen 12 years of slavery, roots and all of that? All uh, right, we came over on slave ships, right? Did you know that was in the Bible? All right, we're finna show you. Get Deuteronomy 28 and 68. This the book. This the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. All right, so it's speaking to the Israelites. Said the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, meaning slavery. All right, we finna prove that. Get that for him. This the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt mean bondage. Yeah, Did you catch that? Yeah. All right, now go back. Listen to this. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, meaning bondage, we, again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And then ye shall be sold unto your enemies. See, you guys, when you get out this slave ship, you're going to be sold to your enemies. All right? That's coming out the scriptures. Read on. For burn men and burn women, and no man shall buy you. Don't that sound like slavery? Yeah, yeah. All right, that happened to us in the Bible. So if anybody asks you, the Israelites, hey, they went into slavery. That was the prophecy that they were going to slavery. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. All right, so let me ask you do, you, do you see our people getting better or worse? In 2017, you gotta try to get better. But did you? Are you aware that our people are under curses? Are you aware of that? Hello? No, I don't know. Uh, you ain't know how they did it. What do you think about that? I mean, I think it's a horrible thing. Yeah. Uh, you think it's hard, but but if we show you in the scripture that our people are under curses, will you believe it? That's the thing. Yeah, All right, go to Deuteronomy 28 and start at verse 15. Bring it out, huh? But it's, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to Isaiah to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, then all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is the agreement that God is making with the Israelites. He said, if you keep my commandment, then you will be blessed above all the people. But if you don't keep the commandment, then all of these curses... Evil things shall come over of a whole nation of people. So are you with me? Yeah. Okay, now listen to this. Cursed shall I be in the city. I say, it say, so this is one of the curses. Cursed shall I be in the city. Now this means over all the people of that nation, cursed everywhere they go, every city that they go into, they're going to be cursed. All right, when you look at, uh, tell me who, who's at the bottom of society in the city of Memphis. Uh, 
Name them by name them what they're called though. Black people, right? All right, you go to Chicago. Who is in the bottom of the cities of Chicago? You say black people, right? Now when you go to St. Louis, who is at the bottom of the cities of St. Louis? All right, when you go to LA, who's at the bottom? Read it again. Cursed shall I be in the city? You see what the Most High God said about these people? No matter what city you go to, they're going to be at the bottom. We don't. And cursed shall I be in the field. When we went, went back in the day, when you was in the, when they had them big, before there were cities, they used to have these big uh, fields. And where you go? All right, who was, was, was the so-called white man cursed in the fields? Or was he owning those fields? Like he was I know that's true. I mean, see, is it true or fact? I mean, is it fact? Is that a fact? I mean, I'm, I'm saying I believe it's a fact. You gotta that's know, true. man. That's history. That's history. That's All right, well, I'm telling you, it's a fact, man. Yeah. All right, the so-called white people. It's a fact that they were the one prospering in the fields. All right, uh, the so-called black people were the ones who were not prospering in the field. They were the, they were the slaves during that time. All right, so that, they was cursed in those cotton fields. They were cursed in those tobacco fields. All right, that's us. You are you with me? Yeah. All right, free. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. All right, the Bible says, "Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store." Make a reference to what you store your goods from. Like if you if you had land and you went out and you got uh, your crop and you put them in your basket and you put them in your storehouse. All right, so when you get hungry, you can go back and get what you store. Don't that sound good? All right, but today what would that be called? That'd be called bank. That'd be called a bank. Yeah. You take your money, put it in the bank. You need something, you go to the bank and get it. But guess what the Bible said? Bible said no. You're gonna be cursed. Do a lot of our people have that opportunity, have that that luxury, or just uh, well, you you see a lot of wealth in our community, basically. Nah, right? Why? Cause of curses. <laughs> That's what we're telling you. It's cause of these curses. All right. Uh, give me the uh, uh, thirty-two. This the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Let me ask you, the reason why a lot of us have uh, uh, so-called white European last name is because of that curse right there. All right, you was given uh, to Master Charles in Virginia. So you see, Pete, what's your last name? Larry. Who? Oh? Larry. Larry is your last name? All right. So that last name, you know, traces back to a so-called European, right? Caucasian. All right. So that's a curse. Meaning, this is what that means. That means somewhere along your bloodline, your one of one of your family members were taken and given to a, a slave owner named Larry. So that's out, that's how you got your last name. Bring it out. So let me ask you: Is that a good thing or bad thing? It sounds like a bad thing. All right, because why? Because once you lose your name, you lose your nationality, you lose your heritage, you lose everything about you as a people. That's a bad thing, right? Because what happened is somebody can then come in and tell you whatever they want to tell you and believe whatever you want to believe, right? So let me ask you, at one point in time, who is this guy right here? Yeah, but have you ever seen this image before? You ain't never seen this image? You ain't never seen this one? Alright. Okay, they, they they told us that was Jesus the Christ, right? Bring it out, huh? They they told us so that that's that's why it's important to know your nationality. Because believe it or not, man, this right here was never Jesus the Christ. He never looked like that. In the scripture, when you read when you search the scriptures, it tells you exactly how he looked. And guess what? He don't look like this. So that's why it's important to know your nationality, because somebody can tell you that Christ looked like that. That's right. Alright? They, re they taught you what they wanted to teach you. you can you believe that? Yeah, okay. Alright. So what we at? So let me, let me ask you, did you know color was in the Bible? Did you know that uh, that Moses was a black man? Uh, Alright, go to Exodus chapter 4 and verse 6. Listen to this, man, because this is, very, this is one of the things that helped me to understand who I was. When I first understood that color was in the Bible. This is, this is Moses. This is the one that was speaking to the Israelites and telling them that well, all these curses are going to come upon you if you don't listen to the commandments of God. That's right. Read that. This is the book of Exodus chapter 4 verse 6. And the Lord said furthermore to him, put now thy hand into thy bosom. So this is the Most High God speaking to Moses and he's saying, look, 
because uh, Moses was uh, trying to see if the people would listen to them when he go deliver them out of Egypt. And he said, look, if they don't believe, listen to you, perform this miracle right here, and then they will listen to you because it's going to be a miracle, right? Yeah. All right, so listen to what uh, Most High God told Moses to do. Read. And he put his hand into his bosom. So Moses had like a cloak on, like a, like a robe on. And he, the Most High God said, take your hand, put it inside, that, uh, inside your bosom right here, meaning up under the cloak. And read on. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous. So when he took it out, it said, behold, his hand was leprous. Now, have you? do you know what leprous, what le what leprous is? Yeah, something with your skin. Yeah, something with your skin. What it does, it, it, uh, it, it penetrates the pigmentation of your skin. So I could have a black hand if it was leprous, it would then turn like white, just like this. You see what I'm saying? So when he put it in and brought it back out, guess what? It, was, it wasn't discolored no more. All right, we're going to prove it. Read on. His hand was leprous as snow. And he said, put thy hand into thy bosom again. So he put it back. So Remember, it said leprous as snow. Snow meaning what? White, right? Yeah. So his whole hand is now white. He said, put it back. He said, put it back in. Read. And he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom. So when he pulled it back out of his bosom, guess what? Read. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. It said it turned again as his other flesh. Meaning one time it was like this, he put it in, came back out, it was white as snow. All right, he put it back in and it turned, returned back. Wouldn't that be a, a sign? If you saw me do that right now, you'd be like, whoa, there's something going on with that guy right there, right? But it, check this out, if my hand was white, if my hand was white, man, I put it, put it up under my shirt and came back out and it was white as snow, would, would that be a miracle to you? It was already white. Yeah, so what's that showing you that Moses was what? He, he was not what? He wasn't white. He wasn't white, right? Yes. All right, now go to Genesis 2 and 7. See, that what, hey, what y'all need to understand is that color is in the Bible. All right? A lot of great men of color was in the Bible. Read Genesis 2 and 7. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. In the Lord formed man, in the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. It said the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? Brown, gray. Brown, huh? Brown. I mean, oh, you said brown? Okay, yeah, so it's brown. So, uh, are we sometimes called brown people? Yeah, we are. Yeah, colored people, right? Yeah. All right, uh, read on. Of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. So he said it breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. All right, the breath of life is referring to the commandments of God. So, cause, cause according to God, you're not living if you're not keeping the commandments of God. Did you know that? All right. So let's prove that real quick. Go to Proverbs 72. Just want to show you how uh, that that uh, uh, these commandments give you life. Read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. All right, it says keep my commandments and live. So what? So it's telling you that when you keep God's commandment, that's true living. All right, so. All right, so uh, 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 when you get time, man, check that out, okay? I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.